Hey everyone, welcome back to another Resonant Blade devlog episode. I want to show you all some of the visual updates I've made to the first level in my game. And in case you're new to the channel, this is an indie game dev video series of my 2D action adventure pixel art game, Resonant Blade. Thanks for tuning in, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. The first level of my game takes place on the Dark Synth Citadel, a floating base and the headquarters of the corrupt artificial intelligence, the Dark Synths. The first visual change that I updated was the color palette and the lighting. I got rid of some of the point lights and focused on using colors to make things stand out more. I made the floor for this map much more saturated to stand out more and provide more contrast with the character sprites. I wanted to give the player a little more time to test out the movement and the controls before being locked into a cutscene, so I added in a long platform before you watch Dorian get disintegrated. A lot of the visual changes after that were going back and replacing all of the particle systems with sprites. I think some of these visuals really detracted from the pixel art aesthetic. At the time, it was easier and faster for me to just throw in some particles to make things work, but now I want to go back and make the art style more cohesive. Instead of using particles for the force fields around enemies and treasure chests, I added in a script that generates sprites along the pixel grid. These little sprites are generated when the force fields are hit. I also added in a custom animation for when the treasure chest force fields are disabled. The background ships and background explosions were also changed from particles to sprites. Instead of just having shadows flying by to indicate ships flying overhead, I added in ships in the foreground layer that fly by to make the battle seem a little more intense and immersive. Alrighty, that's all I had for this week's devlog. Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope to see you back next time.